Hello YouTube, this is Odyssey checking in. Today we are doing it with a video for the recently released Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, if you're a hardcore fan of Mass Effect games, just like I am, hint hint, then you're probably playing Mass Effect Andromeda right now. And by now you probably realize the most annoying part of the game, well, what I consider it to be the most annoying part of this game, and that is the goddamn alien Sudoku puzzles. I mean, you need to solve these puzzles in order to progress throughout the story, and they grow complicated. Now, it's not that I'm bad with Sudoku, however, when I play a Mass Effect game, uh, what I want to do is to get submerged in the story, get to know the characters, get engaged, and finally blow the shit out of anything that crosses my way with biotics and a sniper rifle. Now, clearly that is not the case, because when you're playing and you need to decrypt one of these Sudoku po alien puzzles and you make a mistake, you get immediately surrounded by enemies and if you are playing on insanity just like I am, uh, you die very often because they immediately flank you, you have nowhere to run, and it's just retry and retry, and every time you make a mistake, you get punished with more enemies. And well, I grew tired of it, so I may decided to make this video with a little idea that I got that did actually work. So, first of all, this is not going to be a walkthrough to make you an expert on Alien Sudoku. No, that's not what I'm trying to do here. Uh, basically, we're just going to take one or two minutes, and this video is going to show you how you can solve any of the Sudoku puzzles uh, throughout the game, because the game is going to show you the solution beforehand. So, let's take a look. Um, right now, I'm playing the Xbox One version of this, um, mostly because of the multiplayer. I was very sad when the Mass Effect multiplayer died on me on, on PC, so I decided to make this purchase on, on Xbox One, and, um, well, your apologies on this one, because one of the main disadvantages, I, I'm not sure if this happens with the PC version, but loading times, that is another thing that is terrible about the Sudoku puzzles, every time you die there is a loading screen. And then another load in the screen, and it's a never-ending story. Now, um, I'm not sure why they changed into these terrible puzzles. I mean, Mass Effect 2 had some great puzzles into it. Uh, Mass Effect 1 kind of tried it. It was the first one. Uh, Mass Effect 3 actually just perfected what the other previous games did, but this, really, I mean, this is the best they could come in for puzzles? Come on. It's like they were not even trying. I know the game has suffered a lot of bad reviews, however, I've been like 25 hours into the game, I like what I see, I'm engaged with the story, I'm getting to know the characters, however, uh, these puzzles, come on, really? Well, here we are. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In order to perform this uh, fix for your alien Sudoku, we're going to need three things. The first one uh, is going to be to obtain all of the glyphs. As you know, uh, every time that you face one of these uh, stations, you need to find the glyphs. And in order to find the glyphs, you need to scan the main station, follow the conduits, and the conduits are going to lead you to a glyph, just like that one. And you have to scan it. There is no way around this. Sometimes the glyphs are easily accessible, like this one. Sometimes they are over there, or over there. And sometimes you have to find three, four of them. There is no way around this, guys, sorry. Once you obtain all of the glyphs, you'll return to the main um, interface console. So, the second thing that you're going to need is this little thing called a remnant decryption key. These remnant decryption keys can be easily found by scavenging a remnant outpost 
so you find them in containers and also several merchants through how the game sells them I know you can find one on EOS for free and you can buy the, another one very cheap on the Nexus the first time you uh, uh, you talk to the merchants on the on the docks now right now I have two of these subscription keys okay so here's what we're going to do right now we're going to save our game well you will need to save our game I already have saved my game and once you save your game you're gonna pick the third thing that you're going to need and that is your cell phone yep that's right you're gonna need your cell phone what for because you're going to need its camera once you get this camera running uh, what we're going to do is to record the screen of our game that's what we're going to do why let me show you in a second We're going to use the Redman decryption key in order to solve the puzzle. The decryption key is basically just going to solve it without you using any brains on it or wasting any time, which is what I'm trying to do here. I, I hate to waste time on this. It really breaks the pace of the game. So um, when we use the decryption key, it's going to flash the solution for two seconds, one second and a half, just like this. There you go. That was the solution for the puzzle. The problem is that we have already spent our decryption key. That's why we saved earlier. We go back, we load our game, go to the same one, get another loading screen. That's why I said the solution is going to take one or two minutes. We have the console again. And there we go. All we need to do right now is center the solution, and that's what we're going to do at this point. Uh, so I, I'm going to make a side by side comparison. Just let me fill this out. Be back in a second. And here we are again. Now I have entered the solution, and right now, as you can see on the screen, uh, we have the screenshot of uh, what the screen show when we use the Rem and decryption key, and uh, the solution entered finally just copying the same thing so right now we're just gonna hit OK and success we still have two remnant keys and we solved the puzzle that's pretty much it now um, I hope this saved you a lot of time I'm pr pretty pretty sure there's going to be a lot of discussion about this like, this is a scum saving this is cheating this is uh, whatever you know what I'm not gonna argue I totally agree with you the way I see it, this is like Mass Effect 1. Whenever you had a puzzle that was too annoying, you could, um, you had the option to throw Omnigel into it and fix it. So let's assume we're throwing Omnigel into the gap and thing just to progress through, throughout the game. Because uh, you don't have to do it once or twice, you have to do it three, four or five times depending on the gap and planet you are. And it just grows complicated. I mean, who really wants to stop and play Sudoku on the middle of the game? You just came out fresh from a battle to get into the position, and then, hey, let's play Sudoku. Come on. Really? What's gonna be next in the next Mass Effect game? Minesweeper? Solitaire? Who who came with this idea? What were they thinking? Honestly, what the heck? Anyway, it is what it is. Just try this every time like I said you need a glyphs you need a remnant decryption key that you can scavenge on the planets or purchase from a merchant and you need your cell phone save the game record a solution reload the game enter the solution you're done you're solving every puzzle in two or three minutes depending on your loading times that's it now um, I hope this saves you a lot of time gamers and helps you to don't break the pace of the game because that that is what it was doing for me, just, just breaking the pace, just tearing it up to shreds. 
and I hope this makes your Mass Effect Andromeda a more enjoyable experience. It trust me, it has been more enjoyable for me ever since I tried this. Well, thank you for uh, staying around on my channel. I appreciate that uh, you're watching this video. So remember, if you like this video, then like this video. Also, remember that if you want to see more videos from Mass Effect Andromeda and any other titles, you have to hit the subscribe button over there. Once again, gamers, this is Odyssey checking out. Thank you for being around. See you out there.